Hello everyone. COVID-19 has cited a significant threat from re-emerging, newly evolving zoonotic viral pathogens. The treatment of infectious diseases is facing a big crisis now. Widespread irrational use of many antibiotics has reduced the treatment options against many bacterial pathogens. On the background of COVID-19, there has been a huge media coverage on the antiviral properties of the metal copper. So today we are discussing the antimicrobial properties of the metal copper and how it has been used in Ayurveda. Surface contamination has recently been found to be more significant in the spread of many diseases. When you touch a contaminated surface, infectious virus particles may be transferred to your body causing the disease. On the background of COVID-19 pandemic, there has been widespread media coverage of a recent US government funded study conducted by researchers at the National Institute of Health and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, reporting that SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes the disease COVID-19, remain viable for up to two to three days on plastic and stainless steel surfaces but the same virus could remain viable only up to four hours on copper. This finding brought copper into the limelight during discussions on infectious diseases. So today we are discussing the antimicrobial properties and health benefits of copper. Also how copper is used in Ayurveda. Copper is resistant not just against COVID-19. Other studies showed that brass, the alloy of copper and zinc containing at least 70% copper were very effective at inactivating human COVID virus 229E, another COVID virus. The rate of inactivation was more if the percentage of copper was more. Copper nickels containing Copper and nickel were also effective at inactivating the same virus if with 90% copper content. It was also proved that inactivation of coronavirus on copper and copper alloy surfaces results in fragmentation of the viral genome, ensuring a reactivation of the virus impossible. Not just against viruses, study of US Environmental Protection Agency EPA showed that copper alloy surfaces kill greater than 99.9% of six specific bacteria within two hours at room temperature, including MRSA, a bacteria which is highly resistant to many antibiotics. Dietary copper deficiency causes a variety of cardiovascular deficits. Systemic effects include high blood pressure, enhancement of inflammation, anemia, reduced blood clotting, and possible arteriosclerosis. Reduced amount of copper in the body leads to weakened structural integrity of the heart and blood vessels, impairment of energy used by the heart, reduced ability of the heart to contract, altered ability of blood vessels to control the diameter and growth, and altered structure and function of circulating blood cells. Ayurveda recommends use of different forms of copper, both for prophylaxis and treatment, externally, internally, and for making many medical instruments. Sukshma Tamra Rajaha Kale Sakshaudram Hridishaudhan. Ebu is a verse from Ashtanga Hrude in the context of treatment of food poison. Copper is called Tamra in Sanskrit language. It says that therapeutically prepared nanoparticles of copper when taken with honey helps to cleanse the heart against poison. This verse shows the potential use of copper as an antitoxin and cardioprotector. Use of metals and minerals in therapeutics has been found since Vedic period. 
which became an important part of Ayurvedic therapeutics due to their additional advantages like smaller doses and quick action. Nanoparticles of metals and minerals are prepared through different special procedures in Ayurveda. The resultant product is called Pasma. Tamra Pasma also, if not processed properly, is dangerous to life. Institute for Postgraduate Teaching and Research in Ayurveda, Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar in India, did a compilation of available 11 research works done on Tamra Basma to provide brief information about different studies. All studies reveal that Tamra Basma is safe clinically experimentally at TED levels, that is, therapeutic equivalent dose as no toxic hazards were reported during the treatment period. Tamra Basma is used effectively against respiratory diseases with difficulty to breathe, cough, also for enlargement of liver and spleen. These indications increase its potential use in the current scenario of COVID-19. Copper, an essential mineral, is naturally present in some foodstuffs and is available as a dietary supplement. It is essential for production of several enzymes involved in energy production, iron metabolism, brain development, immune system functioning, and many more. Copper is also a good antioxidant. One of such daily recommendations in Ayurveda is to store water in a copper vessel overnight and drink in the morning empty stomach. To know the scientificity of this practice, a study was conducted. Drinking water contaminated with a group of bacteria like Vibrio cholerae and E. coli which caused diarrhea were stored in a copper pot for 16 hours at room temperature. After 16 hours, no bacteria could be recovered on the culture medium. Recovery failed even after resuscitation in enrichment growth in lab, indicating that those bacteria couldn't regrow in any way. Also, copper content in water stored in copper pots was well within the permissible limits of World Health Organization. Ayurveda recommends different kinds of medicated collyriums or eye applications in the treatment of eye diseases. A verse in Ashtanga Hrudaya says, Shigru Pallava Niryasaha Sugrishta Stamra Sampude Kritena Dhupito Hanti Shobha Krasha Asruvedana one of such collyrium is prepared by churning copper and tender leaves of the drumstick plant in a copper vessel. Drumstick plant or Moringa olifera is also described as an antimicrobial drug in Ayurveda. The ash prepared by burning this paste in ghee is used as collyrium. This is a good medicine against infective eye diseases with inflammation, irritation and pain. Also, copper compounds like copper sulfate are purified and used in the treatment of wounds which are difficult to heal. There is a separate branch in Ayurveda which is dedicated to the study of properties of such metals and minerals, their toxicity, their method of purification and their therapeutic use. Such medicines are widely used in India. Application of such possibilities in public health scenario globally would help a lot of people in a large scale. Thank you.